Welcome back to Sesame and Puff. Today we'll talk about feline Khaleesi virus. Feline Khaleesi virus is often described as cat flu. So like the human cold, we'll see sneezing, snotty noses, and crusty eyes. If your vet sees these on your cat, he or she may say that your cat has an upper respiratory infection. What exactly is the upper respiratory infection? Upper respiratory infection basically is just having germs in the upper part of the cat's breathing system. And by the upper part, we mean the upper airway, which includes the nose, the throat, and the sinuses, rather than the lungs. Given that the virus likes to conquer and replicate itself in the upper respiratory tract, the oral mucosa, and the synovial membranes, we expect to see the symptoms in the nose, mouth, eyes, and also joints. Feline Khaleesi virus can cause extremely variable signs, from causing no signs at all to causing death in some really bad cases. Most cats with feline Khaleesi virus will just have mild signs, like fever and rhinitis. Signs of rhinitis include nasal discharge, sneezing, loss of appetite because their noses are stuck and they can't smell food anymore, and decreased airflow, so sometimes they'll have to breathe through their mouths. For worst cases of feline Khaleesi virus, we'll also see oral ulcers, falsitis, inflammation at the back of the mouth, ulcers along the esophagus, and synovitis, which is basically just inflammation in the joints. This will cause weakness in the limbs, especially for kittens. We call them limping kittens. If your cat is infected by the deadly feline Khaleesi virus strain, your cat may get the virulent systemic Khaleesi virus, which is a very serious disease and requires special care. This is a distinct syndrome in itself that's characterized by vasculitis, which means inflammation in the vessels, and hence fluid may accumulate in different places in the body, and sometimes skin ulcers may also occur. This kind of feline Khaleesi virus is deadly, and 55% of all cats that gets this kind of virus dies. Diagnosis Pretty much by looking at the signs of your cat and also the history, your vet will presumptively treat your cat as feline Khaleesi virus. Of course, your vet cannot be sure about it, but sadly, there's just no good test available. He or she may revise the diagnosis if there are more specific symptoms arising from your cat. If your cat is showing really bad signs, we may start worrying about the virulent systemic feline Khaleesi virus strain, that's the deadly one we've just mentioned, especially if your cat has just been to a place with a lot of other cats, like just out from the shelter or the pet hotel. Treatment. If the disease is mild, it will resolve itself in two to three days. However, during these days, the cat's immune system is weakened by the virus, and that means other virus and bacteria like feline panleukopenia and Brodotella bronchiseptica can easily slip into the cat's body, and all of a sudden, we may see pneumonia and even death. To prevent this, your vet will give antibiotics to keep out other bacteria and also other supporting treatments, just to prevent things from taking a sudden turn for the worse. How to protect other cats from the cat with virus? First, vaccinate your cat against the virus. However, keep in mind that the vaccine cannot completely block off the virus. It can only reduce the signs for the virus when infection does occur. 2. Disinfect the environment regularly. It is already known that the virus can be easily transmitted by direct contact and fomites, but rarely aerosols. So the best way to prevent one cat from infecting another cat is to maintain a good hygiene among the cats. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed that video. For the next video, we'll talk about how cats communicate with us humans. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and not miss out anything. Bye.